Hello friends, this is Dave of javacodejunkie.com and welcome to another Data Access Objects video tutorial. In today's episode, we continue building our DAO implementation by creating a database connection. Let's go to Eclipse where we will begin where we left off in our last video. And we'll right click on our com.javacodejunkie package. We'll create a new class. This class I'm going to call database. Click finish. And in this class, I'm going to create three private instance variables that are necessary for our JDBC connection. The first is a URL for the database. And that's composed of a number of different parts. It starts off JDBC colon MariaDB colon then the server name slash slash localhost in this case. The port number 3306, which is the default for MariaDB slash and then the name of our database and we're using a database called tutorial that's number one the next will be our user id and for demonstration purposes i'm continuing to use the root user And finally, the password. And the password is simply the word password. Let's create a constructor. And now we need to create another method for our connection, public, static. So we won't have to create an instance of our database class. We simply reference the static method. Connection, get connection. Throws a SQL exception. And connection, connection, equals null, connection, equals driver manager, dot get connection, URL, user and password and then we return connection to the caller organize our imports java sql connection and finish let's now go to our main method so that we can test our new database connection i'll simply remark what's currently there or comment it out. Now I will say connection con equals database dot get connection add a throws declaration if con not equal to null this out database connection successful let's run the program to test right click on the project name run as Java application and we see in the console the message database connection was successful 
If you are interested in more detail about JDBC and SQL, I've created several videos in a JDBC and MariaDB video series, and I'll leave a link to those in the description below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, please give it a like and subscribe so that you don't miss any videos when I release new content. Until next time, stay safe and keep on coding.